All right, Tito, I think it's time. We need, we need the help. I think it's time. Yeah. Hey, this is on you, dog. <laughs> all right, we, you. we need your help with something. Uh -huh. okay. okay, what do you think this whole trip's about? Um, the lawyer thing. That's a lie. There's no lawyer. There's no such thing as a lawyer. Oh. I you know. would never come down here for a lawyer. I would never come here for a lawyer. That's I would not go <laughs> for a lawyer. Why would I come here for a lawyer? What's going on then? Okay. Here, Tito, hold it. Oh, God, I'm cringing. Okay, we need your help. <laughs> I'm cringing. Okay, we need your help real bad. Okay. Okay, so I'll just, I'll just start off with this one. Okay, so, <gasps> so, okay, this right here. Oh, uh, my God. I know, I know, I know what you're thinking. But I know, saying, it's pretty small, right? I know, but we're saying, why are we here? <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay, so I got Jason Derulo to bring her on stage yes. and to say, marry me to her. Okay. And pro propose her on stage. But where we need your help, what we need your help with is we're not allowed to be in the park. In what park? Universal Studios. Okay. Because and it's, it's, it's happening on Thursday. So Chili was trying to book Steve Harvey for Thursday. Okay. That can't happen, so she did it Wednesday. So Thursday, she wants to go to Disneyland with you. Okay. But, because, but, and we, because Universal Studios, Jason Derulo is performing at Universal Studios and it's a grad bash thing. It's only for seniors. Okay. So I, when I called and paid the money for Jason Derulo to do it, they're going to get us in the park. But they, uh, but Chili doesn't think, because Chili, I'm like, I told Chili, oh my god, Jason Derulo, like, I hinted, oh, we could try to go. Mm -hmm. But, She's gonna think, how would we get in? So on the drive to Los Angeles tomorrow, tomorrow, like, okay, or at some point, I need you to call Universal, or even today, I need you to call Universal Studios. You, you're gonna be on the phone with nobody. Okay. Oh, gotcha. And, Got it. And be like, is there any way we can get to the park, even though we don't have a kid or whatever? And then you're gonna act like they said, yeah, but you can't put it on speaker. You can't let Chili know. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Main point is, okay, so on Thursday, it's it's, it's all happening, but. And the, only, and the reason why it's happening in California is because Jason Derulo, it, it could have happened in Germany, which I wasn't going to Germany, mm -hmm. and, or it could have happened in Vermont on August, on September 1st. But Vermont's, what's in Vermont? I don't know nothing. Yeah, so I Wait, thought, okay, okay, we'll do it this way because it's the best way to do it. So that's what we came here for. Uh, okay, now I'm, I'm going to tell her the first way and then tell her how it's supposed to go. Okay. And she tells me if it's gay or not. But after that, can you move a little bit over here so I don't get the sun? Oh. That, okay. <clears throat> So, okay, so I was thinking, I was like, okay, how, right? Uh, and I was like, okay, so I wanted, because you know Jason Rose has that Marry Me song, have you ever heard it? Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, so I was thinking, okay, I proposed Chili on stage during that. Okay, so what if you start off backstage and then Jason Rose performed the song and then brought you out proposed? That's and say, really oh, cool. And, and, and don't forget, he says, I got a special announcement. Yeah, and then, and then you come out. You thought that was cool? Yeah. Okay, no. that's gay. This is how I want it to go. Okay, okay. Okay, so this is how I've told them it's going to go, and if it doesn't go this way, okay, so here's how it's going to go down. How it's supposed to. We've been to a lot of Jason Derulo concerts, and when you're in the concert, he always brings girls out of the stage to sing to them and then put them back. Ah. So me and Chili, we're supposed to be in the crowd, and Jason Derulo is supposed to pick, Randomly chi pick, pick Chili, Chili, bring her on stage, and then I sneak to the back, and then while he's singing to her, I come out during that. That's cooler, right? Yes, that's so cooler. much cooler. Yeah, yeah. so we're, the backstage one's dumb, right? Yeah. Now, yeah. That, now, See? It's, now it's gay compared to the cooler one. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah. So. That's the thing, is that so far, because I spoke to Jason Derulo's Tory manager, like, like the whole, everything is paid for, it's supposed to go that way. Okay. But here's the thing, they emailed me today and said, we'll let you know how everything's gonna go down the day before on Wednesday. Tell them, ho. <laughs> <laughs> like, if we start off backstage, I'm gonna be so pissed, because it's dumb. Yeah. I wanna start off in the crowd now. See, yeah. at first you thought backstage was cool. Yeah. And you heard the crowd win, and I was like, like, oh my god, they picked me, oh my god, you know? Yeah. So that's so, really cool. That's the thing here, is uh, we, I, I'm stuck at a point where Chili wants to take you on to Disneyland, so I need you to be like, ah, well, we'll, we'll still go to Disneyland on Friday, probably. Okay. I was talking to Chili last night about it. But I was disappointed about and Disney. She, and she said, she said, my sister really wants to go to Disneyland even though she's been to the Japan one, and she said she just wants to go just to see Get it. a pin. Yeah. Exactly, and, and she wants to stay. She said, we can still go Friday. Mm -hmm. So we, so my thought was either on Thursday you say you're sick, mm -hmm. or <laughs> Disneyland can happen Thursday. Okay, but what's happening Thursday instead? Um, Universal Studios? The Jason Rule thing. That, wait, but wouldn't that be at night? Because I could tell her I have a headache. I always get headaches. Yeah. So we can go there in the morning. So whatever we do has to be indoors that day. And so then she'll be like, okay, is your headache better? I'm like, yeah, I just need Well, no, but Thursday's hours. Jason Derulo. It's outside. It's outside. At day or night? Night. It's going to have, okay, Jason Derulo doesn't come on stage until like 8 p.m. Perfect. But me and Chili, so here's what I think. I need me and Chili to go to the park first. And you say, we'll meet up with y'all or... Right? I see, okay. I see. Because yeah, because I have a headache I and I can't Tito to bring, handle the sun. I need Tito to bring in the ring because mm -hmm. in the security at Universal, they make you empty your pockets. 
That, I see. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So, I, okay, the biggest problem here, because I kept telling Chili I'm going to call Universal Studios and ask if we, because keep in mind, it's for only graduating seniors. They rent it out the park for yes, the, all the high yes, school. Yes, yes, yes. They do that for Orlando people. Yeah. Too. So, Chili keeps saying there's no way in hell that. Um, They're going to let us in. Yeah. And that will be true. Yes. Yes. So, it's. What I need your help with is calling them or it, it, because the cool thing is she, didn't, she wouldn't think you're in on it. She That's probably true. Yeah. yeah. So, so for you to call and say, they said that you'll do it, is we have to make up some price of what they would say. I'm like, I'm like if she's sick, we can always go tomorrow. You want to go to Universal Studios instead? Boom. Mm -hmm. yeah. So Jason Rule, is he at Universal Studios or Disney? or? He's at Universal Studios on Thursday. Okay. okay. Uh, he was, uh, yeah, Universal Studios booked him to perform on Thursday for okay. Universal. So I just said, "Hey, can you do what you already gonna do anyway? Mm -hmm. Just this, yeah." Okay, I think I think it'll go down smoothly. Well, here's the thing: we gotta find we gotta find a way to convince Chili that they'll let us in on a plate because because we're getting in. They gave us they getting us tickets in. But my question is, how are they going to how are we gonna tell Chili? Oh, they let us in because I can't tell them what's happening. Okay, so I'm a little bit confused about something. And I didn't want to ask it earlier. What are we doing that day on Thursday? Yes. Thursday was supposed to be my lawyer's meeting. Okay, but exactly. No, so I'm going to tell Chili, oh, they canceled it. It's going to okay, be Friday. Okay, cool. So I need you to either today or to, on the way to Los Angeles, because we're driving to Los Angeles tomorrow night. So it can't be on tomorrow night because they wouldn't be open. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So basically what you need to do is you need to like call Universal Studios on speakerphone, like really do, mm -hmm. and then hang up and turn off speaker and make her think you did start the call. Mm -hmm. And then be like, hey, I was just wondering, um, whatever. And yes. then... They say, what you will, but it's like a certain amount of money. And I'll say, I'll pay for it. And then they get us in. Okay, okay. But here's the thing. What are we doing Thursday morning? I need an excuse, basically, to tell her why we can't go to Disneyland. So your lawyer's thing was supposed to be... Th so Thursday morning, yeah, we're going to say it's canceled. So Thursday morning, we'll probably have to wake up till like 11 anyway. And then you could say you're sick. Okay. Yeah, just say I'm not She's not going to believe it. I wake up when I'm sick on, on trips. I have to come up with something better. I know my sister. So, so just say you have a really bad headache. Yeah, the headache is the only thing that I can think of right now. Yeah. We'll do that. We'll do the headache thing, and then I'll tell her we have to meet up with you later. And then you decide, hey, Chili, let's not waste a day. Let's go. Today, at some point, I'm going to bring up, hey, when, I don't know if you've never heard this before. And I'm going to yeah. say, we got to call Universal. I was like, and then you can say, I'll do it. I'll call them. I'll yeah. say, really? And then I'll act like I'm cringing because I'm like, oh, how awkward. Yeah. And then you can call. I think we should do the phone call today, anyway. Right? Yeah, we should just go ahead and get it over with today. Right? Actually. Did it work? Sure, there's no snooping going. No, hell no. She's too busy getting ready. <laughs> I'm a snoopy snoop. I would too. <laughs> okay. Okay, so, so we okay. got it. We got it. We'll call. We'll call Universal Studios. Somehow we'll get in with a fake phone call, and then um, somehow I have to fake no Disney on Wednesday. On Thursday. On Thursday. Oh, it was supposed to be wait, Thursday. Wait, okay, so let's go with the week. So today is Vegas. Tomorrow okay. is Vegas, and tomorrow night we drive to Los Angeles. Okay. And then Wednesday is Steve Harvey, the hmm. Family Feud thing. That's, gotcha. that's all day Wednesday. Okay. And then Thursday is nothing but Disney World. Okay, and that was supposed to be the Disney day. That was supposed to be the day that we go to my lawyer and then see Disney. So Thursday, we're going to say. So what you're going to do today is you're going to call, uh, or I'm going to bring it up to you that you should call, and then you're going to say I'll call for you, and then you'll call, and we need to go over what. What they what they would agree on because here's the thing when we get to the park when we and Chili get to the park the agent that I booked it through is going to meet us and he's going to pretend to be a fan or mm, someone gotcha. to get us into, yeah I know so we have to convince <laughs> who he is I know we have to think of how to make Instagram just say he messages you and say okay yeah there you go slid into your DMs that's what Chili does all the time mm -hmm. yeah. Because if you already saw backstage, what's going on? You know. Right? It's like, oh, backstage, oh, special an announcement. announcement, oh, marry me, oh, okay. Also, yeah, also, yeah, marry me, oh, no. And also, you're standing backstage and he's already singing for the. Because he doesn't perform the song to begin with. Exactly. It's like a song halfway through the concert. Mm -hmm. So you're standing there till halfway through. What are we doing back here? Mm -hmm. It's stupid. It's like, oh, backstage Jason Derulo. <laughs> oh, sorry, I met his workers. Oh, he has an announcement? Oh, I wonder what that is. I it's haven't seen yet. concerts like 100,000 well, times. Yeah, we're not stupid, yeah. Yeah. So, we need to. I'm gonna, we need to do that. We'll do it. Okay, now the phone call. What are the details of that? What, you got, when you hang up, you got to tell us something. They said that they'll let, they said, yeah, they'll let us in. No, um, that's not believable because you really, really want to get in. So I'll be on the phone and I'll be like, hey, Logan, they're saying blah, 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 blah. 
and and then I'll go back to the lady and be like, Can I'll you just put you on hold for a while. Yeah, exactly. You gotta do that. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> you gotta do that. Yeah, she has to put you on hold. Let me see what we can do for you. Click, 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 and I'm like, mode. 15 okay. minutes. Put your phone on airplane yes, yes, so yes. no one can call you. Yes. It starts ringing. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know they hung up. Mm. It's like, huh, strange. Mm. I do have girlfriends um, that I can call. But she's never heard her voice before. So I can actually be on a phone call with somebody. How, My friends do call center. How could they how, work at the call center so they know exactly what to do. Really? You know what I mean? Yeah. They're like, okay, just a moment, let me go ahead and put you on hold, see what I can do. Well, okay, can, I spoke can, to my can manager. you call real quick and let her know that we're gonna do that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can call her. Like, let's go over the plan. Um, so we're gonna do this today. Yes. Okay, so we might have to do it after four, because I told you like they work, but um 12, 1, 2, it's already two PM where we're from. Online, it said the only way that an adult could get in is if you chaperone 15 students. Damn. I know. I know. So she needs to come up with, okay, you'd have, you, she's got to say, you're going to have to pay the price of 15 students plus chaperone. Hold on. She, at the end of the day, she's got to say, well, let me see what we can do. Just say, all we want to do is watch the concert. Okay. Yeah, say, all we want to do is watch the concert. We don't even care about the park. We don't even have to look. Okay. And then, see, this is a lot. We need to get, it's. Gotta be done right. She's never heard this person's voice. No, never. But I talk to her all the time, and she does call center, so it'll be absolutely perfect. The show must go on. But I can literally put her on speaker okay. every once in a while, and then take her off speaker. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Yeah, yeah. It yeah. makes it really believable. It's a lot of work. She's not answering. Don't worry. She always, she always um, answers. Give her about ten minutes. She's probably at work. So we'll probably be able to do this like after we eat, let's say today. Yeah. And then I can call Universal Studio. Well, I'll bring it up to you during the dinner. There you go. And I'll be like, okay, yeah, I'll call. And then I'll text my friend. And then my friend will do her thing. And then, yeah, we'll talk back and forth. So. Oh, let me see what happens when you call Universal Studio. Let me, let me hear what it says. Okay. Thank you for calling Universal Studios Hollywood. Is that what I want? Detailed information about our world famous studio and theme park may also be found on our website. So, during the speakerphone, just play this. Exactly. And I'll press the button. And then I'll say, I'll speak. And then you hang up. And then you'll call your friend. Exactly. And then, but you have to text and let her know. When you answer, just talk like a, like a Yeah, be like, be like, thank you for calling Universal Studios. How may I help you today? And I'm like, yeah, I actually have a really odd request to ask from you. I was wondering if you can help me. She's like, okay, sure, go ahead. Yes, Jason Derulo's playing on June 6th at your park. Um, I know that it's a senior night. And I was wondering if there's any way that four grown-ups can get in. Four or five? Four. Yeah, four. I can say five. Four grown-ups can get in, blah, blah, blah. Um, is there anything that we can do? And she's gonna be like, no, I'm sorry, there's nothing that we can do. And I'm like, can I please speak to your manager or something? This is actually pretty important. We are from Florida, blah, blah, blah. I know, we'll just keep BSing back and forth, you know? Yeah. Um, and then and, that's- and, and just say, we only wanna watch the concert, all this stuff. Exactly, we only wanna watch the concert. Um, somebody's really, really interested in it. Say we're willing to pay whatever we have to pay to yes, yes, yes. Say, and then- I'd be like, I saw and that on your website. It said that, you know, 15 students for a chaperone. Is it is it a ticket thing? Do we buy a bunch of tickets and, and then get you in? And you say, oh, thank you so much, or whatever she said. But also, she puts you on hold when you ask those questions. Yeah, exactly, exactly. So she's going to be like, okay, let me yeah. put you on hold and let me ask my supervisor, blah, blah, blah. And so she'll put me on hold for like a minute or whatever to make it really believable. She'll come back. And then I'll be like, I'll be like, okay, so my manager said blah, 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 blah. And I'm like, okay, um, is there any special tickets that you can have after 8 p.m. or anything like that? Um, yeah. Can we work something out? And we'll just keep doing that. And my sister will listen, but she'll halfway tune me out and be like, well, yeah. you know what I mean? Because I know She's going to hit the ending result. Yeah, exactly. So right. it'll be good. And I'll just sit like in the back or whatever. And um, and yeah, I'll talk loud every once in a while and then whisper every once in a while too. Like just look back at me and then I'll look at you kind of weird. Well, I'll, like I'll, I'm being loud. I'll be asking you questions. Yeah, I'll be like, for oh, that I'll too. Like, I'm with this and this because that's what I use. Okay, so I'm going to go back to the room. It'll be perfect. So we have to find a place to eat and then... And I bring it up to you. Yeah, yes. I think you've never heard about it in your life. Well, obviously not. No. <laughs> yeah. You heard about what? The <laughs> Vinci's real thing. See? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, what? She's so stupid. I thought we discussed this the last time it is. Yeah. We'll be good, I promise. And then you gotta act like and then you gotta act like it's kinda stupid what I'm asking for, like we're gonna we're just gonna watch, and you're gonna say we're not gonna ride rides, like no, I just wanna watch this concert. Exactly. I'd be like, oh, uh yeah. Yeah. well he said that chilling my car, whatever. Um he said no rides or something like yeah. that. I'd be like, We don't have special tickets for rides. For yeah. no rides. Or I'm, something I'm gonna like call Chili to see what she's doing or Okay, she's probably doing her hair. Yeah. Yeah, just get one of your friends that she's never heard of. Yeah. And you have a friend that works at a call center? Yeah, that's yeah. her. Yeah, that's, a, that's exactly the one that I picked. Hey, what are you doing? All right, I'm coming back. I just, I was hanging out with you. Okay. But, 
Okay. 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 She's editing her vlog. Oh, even better. Alright, so we need to BS all day. It's gonna be so easy. Just don't stress over it. Well, what, today? I Today's easy. This. Today's easy, yeah. I got this. The real game begins on Thursday. That's what I Yeah, we got it. My thing is that there's gonna be a guy that meets us at the park and he said, Oh, I can just have your long lost cousin. I said, No! no. That's, you're an idiot. I said, You don't know what you're doing. Long lost Oh, I, I never met you. Yay. Why would I want to meet you if, now? I was thinking he was a YouTube, he was a, he was a fan that works at the park mm -hmm. and just thought it'd be cool to hang out with us. Yeah. And I was like, Okay, that works. Because you've done that before. Yes. This thing's dying. Yeah, well, we'll end it with that. Okay, do you think it's all gonna go down good? Yes, okay. I think so. We're making sure. All right, we got diet. let's do it. All right, guys, so we're at Johnny Rockets. That's the name of a TV show, isn't it? No, Johnny Bravo. No, the other, the kid one. Johnny Bravo Jr. Johnny Five? Oh. I don't know what I'm talking about. The guy, he had like the spiky hair. Johnny Rocker, I think it's a I don't know. Hey, Tito. What? What did the thought say when she pulled your pants down? What? This is oh. huge! This is huge! Ah. She did. <laughs> what if people used french fries as a toilet? It would look like that. <laughs> oh, I was like, I was like, what? That's called chili cheese fries. I call it poopy poop fries. Poopity poop fries. The doctor said we need a sample. That's what he gave me. Uh oh, ew. Ew. Uh oh, uh, you. Mm. <laughs> no, no. No, I don't. No? You have mine. I have your. What's up? Hey, much. You're a fan? Yeah. Uh, what's your name? Jaden. Who's your favorite character? Uh, I would say uh, Mr. Goodman. Mr. Goodman? You want a picture? Yeah. Let's get a picture real quick. Look, it's Godzilla. It's Godzilla. Let's be calm. Hey, Chili. Guess what? What? Ew, I stepped in dong poo. <laughs> that was funny. <laughs> like dog poo. I got it. I got it. <laughs> it's salt. No, it's... <laughs> what? All right, guys, so we snuck into Grad Bash. We're, we're backstage. We're trying to bash... Trying to, trying to bash Grad Bash. Grad Bash. We're, we're Grad Bash... We're, we're Grad Bash Crashers. We're going to crash so Bad Bash. So we're in the back of the theme Yeah, so... so cool. Yeah, so we're, we're in the back. Uh, where we're not supposed to be. I don't want... Right there, boom, see? And we're going to... We're, we're gonna crash Grad Bash. We're special guest. Grad Bash Pass. And then we got this fucking thing. That's the back of Water World. We're like behind all the rides. It's so cool. Yeah, we're where the important oh, people are. Bash Grad wow. Bash. That's our hashtag. They have hashtag Grad Bash. We have hashtag Bash Grad Bash. All right, guys. So we just got VIP meet and greet with Jason Derulo. And it was a surprise too. And, and this guy ruined it. <laughs> Congratulations. I thought I was like, okay, I don't know what you're talking about. Congratulations. I thought he was a fan, and I was like, that's kind of odd. Though. Yeah, I was like, okay. All right, guys. So we got inside the park, and we get to meet Jason Derulo because she gave him a sob story <laughs> and said that I don't like to fly, and I'm the biggest fan ever. Yeah, and then we drove all the way out to California just to meet Jason Derulo. But then the lady said, "Have I ever met him?" And I said, "Multiple times." So I look like a goddamn liar, and she looked at us like, she looked awkward. She was like. Oh. And they were gonna try to make it a surprise, but then some guy named fucking Mark ruined it. <laughs> he was like, hey, congratulations, by the way. And I said, I'm fucking wet. <laughs> I was like, I'm getting great. Did you tell him I have cancer until I beat cancer? I know, I can't <laughs> tell him that. He, he just beat cancer. Like, congratulations on the beating the cancer. Oh my gosh, no, no, no. Okay, you wanna play the clip of my sister calling? We'll like put it together. Yeah. No way. She actually did it, I think. Okay, she's gonna ask. Okay. We don't we don't mind paying the full price if we have to. We just wanted to go ahead and see um, the concert. If the audio is funny, it's because Logan has my vlog camera. Okay. So what did so she say? She said she could. Fifty seven hundred. Did she say much? that correctly? For how much? For all four people. For four or one. 
for four people. Okay. Um, go ask Logan. You sure it's okay with him? Let me see. Give me a second. Logan! We got a price! That's not a good one. It's 5700 and she can take it over the phone right now. For four people. Do it. Do it? Alright, do you need to I speak to him or um Wait, they said what, what does that mean though? What does it mean? Does we it mean? can't ride rides. We can only see the concert. Alright, so we're back. Alright, so guys, we're gonna go ride rides until 8.30. 8.30 my heart's gonna stop. Yes, because we're supposed to be back there backstage doing something that was supposed to be a surprise. And I didn't even know about it. I Nobody knew about it. I get to be just real. We paid $5,400. $5,700. $5,700. That's not bad for me and great for four people. Uh, yeah, especially. Oh my god. Oh my god. I can't wait. Oh, you're gonna tell them the best part. What? We got these passes that lets us basically ride the rides for free. Well, all during like fast pass. So yeah, we, that's pretty we can skip all the lines. Yeah, and they told us that we were gonna have to leave after the concert, and that, that's not. We get to skip all the lines. All right, so we're gonna ride rides, and I'll vlog cool stuff. So, Logan, so I'm gonna show you when we go back downstairs. I'm yeah. gonna show you an area where once the show starts, where you should be stationed. Right? Okay. And what happen is, I'll tell Jason where you are. Yeah. And he's gonna say a little, a little speech. You know, he needs some help with this next song by this girl. Needs somebody from the crowd. Okay. Woo woo woo. Yeah. So you'll go over there like. Hey, yeah. Hey, my my girl, my girl. My yeah. Girl. And then he'll call a tour. Yeah. And somebody come get you guys. Bring you by guys backstage. Yeah. Put her up on stage. Yeah. And then what do you want to do? You want to walk? You want it to be dramatic? I, I want to be super cool. Like I wanted her to get on stage. He's singing. And then I get brought out during the marry me part, if it's possible. I mean, it's, I want him, yeah, I, I didn't, see, in my vision, he was singing, the, he brings her on stage, he sings the marry me song, and then when he says the will you marry part, I come out. Do you want to, do you want to ask the question? Uh, like, uh, if you, like, I think that'd be kind of cool. What do you think? Sure. Definitely. Yeah, I think, I mean, I think you should definitely actually. Yeah. For sure. Because right? I have the ring on me right now. I'm, so. I'm wondering if. So how did y'all have it planned in y'all's mind? Normally we just bring a girl on stage and he just sings to her. But I'm wondering if we should if we should stop the record for a second. If I do that in Pro Tools, then it's it fucks. How much of the song was he gonna sing? We'll have to put it on. He sings the verse and the chorus. Okay, yeah, that's, yeah, yeah. And I, so I, he does the, the verse, chorus, bridge, chorus out. Okay, so what part did you think I should come out at? Mm -hmm. That part? Yeah. I think I should come in. Hold on. If I come out right here, like right there, I do what the song says. I think it'd be cool if the music played and then you just you just speak her so she see your mouth. That's a, yeah, do with the song. Yeah, that's what I thought was cool too. Yeah. By that the time you walk there, it'll be there. It'll get just in time. You know, walk slow pace. Yeah. Stuff. And they'll get you there just in time to, to get to the bending knee part. Yeah, that'd, that'd be so cool. That's how I thought uh, it. So, all right, so you set with that. I am set, that's perfect. Let me show you where we're going to position. Okay. Oh. And this may change. Johnny will come get you and move you if need be. Okay, okay. So, I don't know how we're going to do that when she's there with you. We just have to make it seem as seamless as possible. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. So maybe he comes by and tap you. If he taps you, that means he comes follow you. Yeah, I know, yes. You're still going to be wearing the bull. Well, I just probably bump you, you know. That's so right. awesome. You see you. this hair? Yeah. And this hat? That's it. Yeah. <laughs> What's the um, earliest you can come in and wait? Uh, I'm not sure. Okay. That I don't know. I don't know when they open the door. Well, if we are really close, how are they going to get her over? The, like, let's say he chooses her. I, I got a security guard that'll pick her up. Awesome, great. Then you have to make your way to the side. Oh, okay. You know that, right? Once yeah, they yes. get her, you need to make oh, so, your so, way to the side. And who do I meet with? You're going to meet with John. Oh, yeah, yeah, you said, yeah. I'll be standing right here the whole time. Yes. So if you need to guide me and contact me in any way, I'm standing right here next to those guys. Okay. Because I'm the one to call them the show. Awesome. So Johnny will be looking for you, you know what I mean? So whatever you need, you can always come find me right here in this area right here. Okay, awesome. Okay? Thank you so much. No worries. So, I mean, that's pretty straightforward. Yep, it is. Yeah. If you got any questions, just call me, let me know. All right, now, uh, what I need Emily to do is find us in the park or tell us to meet her. So, because my girlfriend now thinks we're having a meet with me at 30, but that's not happening. So my girlfriend's going to be coming here at like at 8.30 thinking... Your words to me. Okay, yeah. hold on. Let me wait. Let me wait for that. Okay. Hello. Sorry about that, bro. Oh no no. I feel like I covered it up pretty. You know we covered it pretty good. Oh, and then that guy Mark left, who I'm assuming is the old man hat guy. He's the agent I contacted about, yeah. Yeah. 
Said congratulations. He's like, he says congratulations and then like, like congratulations on what? <laughs> yeah. And I was like, well, since he blew the secret, you want to meet and greet. Yeah, we were like that. Yeah. So that's why the whole 8:30 thing came up. And so what time will it be now? I don't know. So I will text you what time the meet well, and greet. We had, okay, yeah, okay, just do that. What time do they open this area? This area opens up at eight o'clock. He doesn't go until 9:15. There's going to be one-tenth of the number of people that are in the park right now, so you'll be fine. We'll get you up front and center, wherever you want to be. Actually, the very, very best place to watch the show is on those benches right there, because you can see all the lasers. Yeah, but my everything. girlfriend, we've been at Jason before, and she like, we want to get as close as we can all the time. So we're going to try to get close. Okay. We will get you there. Okay, awesome. Thank you. Perfect. All right, thank you so much, Harry. You're all, you're all awesome. Uh, how do I get out? Uh, <laughs> just ask that. See that guy, Billy, right there? Yeah. Bye. I am the happiest man in the world right now. All right, time to meet, time to meet back with Chili and them. Everybody did a good job on that one. Oh my gosh, you did a perfect job. So we're fixing our little nail fiasco. My sister went out of the park to Sephora, and she got me nail polish, and it's looking great. I'm so happy now. It's a Derulo. Derulo. Really? It's a Jason Derulo. I'm gonna have to do a <laughs> shout out. Yes, I'm gonna have to be. If he picks me, I'm gonna have to be like that guy wants to meet you. He's not. Oh, he's not choosing anybody. Derulo. You excited? I, I am. This is, this is worth coming to California. I would have. I would have flown for this if I knew it was gonna happen. <laughs> oh my god. I'm gonna look. How about this? I'm gonna fly home. You're lying. I'm gonna fly home. Sorry, I don't have you. I'm gonna tomorrow. I'll fly home. You can't. We're going to the Grand Canyon. Don't we'll, you remember? We'll fly home from Vegas. Liar. Yes. Don't get my hopes up. <laughs> Don't give me hope. Oh, it doesn't say Derulo anymore. It doesn't say Derulo. All right, guys, this is where it's all gonna go down. That stage right there. Whenever they open it. Hi. All right, what's your name? Daniela. And your favorite character is? Jeffy. That's, you've been watching for two years? <laughs> yes. Awesome. Two. She's awesome. Hi. Are, you are you from California? Oh, no, I'm from Texas. We're from Florida. We, dro we drove from Texas. <laughs> So that's awesome. It was nice meeting y'all. Bye. Bye. And I'm Dad. Thank you so much. Thanks, Dad. Awesome. Bye. Thank you. Bye. All right, guys. So we're in before anybody else. We're in here before anybody else. Look, I get to be front. I get to be. I get to be on the front. I get to be in the front. That's so cool. Look, no one is here. Uh, no, no one. No one's here. No, no one. No one uh, except for my show. No, no one's here. And then we have the, the stage. Grad bag. I don't care. I love it. 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 I love it. Ah! Ah! Wait, my boyfriend! Get into this next song, and uh, I feel like it's only appropriate if I have a little help, you know. Oh, yeah. Yeah. You know, I'm just thinking of myself. You know, it's, it's just a little lonely up here, right? And we all have a little help, we all have a little help, guys. I need a little help with this next song. I'm gonna sing a song called If I ain't got nobody out here to ask me so well, you feel me? Come on, look at me and say it. Is there any help on this side, this side, this side? Okay, yo, the happy little girl might be a big girl over there. This side, this side, this side! Check this out, bro. Oh, you got me? My God. Let's do it.
Chili has a ring. Yeah. Oh, the battery's about to die. I know, I saw uh, that. So I'll, I'll turn on the camera when we see Jason roll. Alright, how you guys doing? I'm happy. I'm happy. I know, you're top of the world. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna get you one here after two guys. Awesome. Just here, awesome. Alright. That's my boyfriend. <laughs> okay. You're not my boyfriend. Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed watching the vlog. So I'm gonna give you a quick recap of everything that just happened. So I proposed to Chili, show, yeah. show him the ring. Look guys, check that out. Oh yeah, bang. So beautiful. Yeah, Jason really liked it, so now I like it. He did, he wanted, to, he like pretended to take it, it was so funny. Oh, and he said, he said, can I say yes? And I was like, yeah. yes, please say yes instead of her, please, 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 please. <laughs> oh please. my God. <laughs> hey, Tito, isn't Jason sexy? Huh? Yeah. Heck yeah. <laughs> No homo. Yes. Anyway, all right, guys. So full recap of what happened. So I had told Chili there was this business meeting in uh, California, and I had to go. I had to go no matter what, which that was a complete lie. And I did not tell anyone about it. The only people that knew about this was me and your boy Teeds. I helped. 
Yeah, Tito was the only person to know about it for a month. Me and Tito, just for a month. And I just was like, I wanted to blab. I wanted to blab every day. I wanted to tell a million people, but I don't trust anyone because I have no friends. If you say a secret, then when you tell someone else a secret, they're going to be like, I can't wait to tell someone else. And then they tell someone, and then eventually it gets back to Chili, and then it's a, she has to fake it. And, and No, we don't do that. You don't do that. So I planned this proposal. I, uh, it was it was so amazing in my mind. I wanted to make sure, but I did not know it was going to go the way I wanted it to go until the day of. But anyway, so I tell Chili that I have this business meeting in, in California. So me and Tito drive. Chili and her sister fly to Dallas, and then and then they drive with us to Los Angeles. So I eventually had to tell Chili's sister what was going on because I needed a fake phone call because I knew because I because grad bash only teenagers were allowed in. So I know if I would have said, Hey, Chili. I talked to Universal and they let us in. Chili's gonna say something's weird. So I said, if I can get her sister in on it, her, she's gonna believe her sister because her sister is like, not, she's not, her sister wouldn't make up something like this. So I tell her sister what's going on and her sister's like, oh my God, yeah. So we go to the mall and her sister calls one of her friends and pretends that she's on the phone call with Universal Studios and they say, oh yeah, we, we'll let you in for an outrageous amount of money. And then Chili's like, oh my God, they'll let us do it. So Chili believed it. I did believe it. I was so excited. I was like, look, and oh my God, they came back with a price. And I was like, it's not a good one, but we can get in. So Chili believed that by calling Universal, they let us into Grad Bash. And we're <laughs> oh, do you remember the part where I like offered my car and I said, here, I'll pay for it. And then you're like, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So Chili offers to pay for this fake amount of money, which does not exist. And at first I almost said yes, because I didn't want to pay for it, even though it was not real. <laughs> Wait, you have to wait for me to call me federal to approve my thing. I, I can give him my Delta. No, 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 I, I'm gonna do it. Okay, um, yeah, because, because her sister made up this, it was like, she said that. 5,700, I remember. They said it was $5,700 to see him. And just to let you guys know, that's fake. It was a fake phone call, it wasn't real. And Chili says, I'll pay the 5,700. I almost said, okay. <laughs> and then I said, wait a minute, it's not gonna show up on her bank statement. <laughs> so I said, no, no, let her pay. I'll let so anyway. Uh, her sister helped uh, do the fake phone call. So then, once we were in, it was like, okay, now we gotta we gotta get in the park. So I just want to let you guys know that the proposal was one of the coolest things ever, but it was the most stressful thing ever because. I did not know how it was going to go down until the day of. Like I didn't know who to talk to. It was all it was all over the place. So when we got to the park, they uh, the the agent I talked to said, "Come in through this certain gate." But but I had to act like Chili's sister knew everything. So then it was it was just a big mess. So we get to Universal Studios, and my agent comes up to me and says, "Congratulations." In front of me, in front of Chili. Congratulations! And shakes his hand, and I I looked at that, and I was like, "Yeah." He says, "Congratulations" to me in front of Chili, and. I was like, for what? And I'm like, thank God he didn't say anything. But he just said congratulations. Which I, So the other agent, Jason Rillo's agent, had to say, oh, we got you a surprise meet and greet. Yeah, and you guys covered that up really well. But even if you even if you guys wouldn't have had an excuse, like I wouldn't have guessed it. I thought he was congratulating you for getting in the park on Grad Bash. Yeah, so I was like. And I was like, okay. Yeah, so anyway, what, so we got inside the park and uh, Jason Rillo's brother or cousin i don't know i don't know who he was he he's a big he helps with jason really he does a lot of things for him so he's really close to him what uh so we got inside the park and he's like you need to meet me without chili you just need me and you you need to meet me at the stage so i i told i, I took us to the farthest part of the park which is the harry potter part and that's a lot of parts i took i, I made them go to the harry potter part of the park the Harry Potter theme world. Yeah, yeah, I made her. I took us to the Harry Potter theme park part, and uh, and I said I had to get away from them. So I told them I was feeling sick and I had to use the bathroom, which I was because I was feeling really sick. But I uh, so I, I left them while they rode a ride, and I ran to the stage, and that's where we planned out everything of how I wanted to go, and then uh, the concert came up, and you guys saw the video of how it happened. It was amazing. So Chili was supposed to get pulled out of the. You, you already heard it. Yeah, it was so cool. And then we got to meet him afterwards. Which yeah, made it yeah, cool. yeah, we got to meet Jason Rulo. He's my boyfriend. By the way, so I've told Logan this, but um, I haven't told you guys. When I was up on the stage, or when I was going backstage, I had to go up these steps. And the song was already playing. And I still didn't like put it together in my mind. Like I knew the song, but I didn't like think much of it. And um, they were holding me back there, and they were like, wait, when do we send her? Does anybody know when we send her? And I was like, that's kind of weird. Like, they should have sent you immediately. <laughs> No, they held me, Logan. They were like, I don't know when to send her. And then one of them was like, I don't know, let's just go up there now. So then the girl that you see that brings me up on the stage, she walks me up, and then I just kind of stand there like, yeah. hey, so that, so, that was pretty funny. So the hardest part of it was they picked Chili out of the crowd. 
See, and then they needed, and then I was like, okay, how do I get on stage without Chili seeing me? And also there was a crowd of people around me, so how do I get out of the crowd? So after they picked Chili out of the stage, <laughs> they pushed Chili forward and then they grabbed, the bodyguard grabbed me and dragged me through the crowd. We don't have much of it on video, but. <laughs> They yeah. dragged me and I was like ducking so Chili couldn't see me, so. Yeah. I didn't even know, I didn't notice you. Yeah, so I was yeah. just looking forward, I was like, okay, what are we doing next? Like, what's going on? Also, when you, it, this is really funny, when you came around the corner and you were walking on stage, I looked at you and I was just like smiling, because I was like, this is weird, how did you get up on stage, Logan? I was like, how did you convince them to do that? I thought you like begged them, like, my girlfriend's up there, let me go up there. That wouldn't make any sense. I know. Thank it was you. only when you were like right in front of me and then I saw a little box in your hand, then I was like, oh, but it took me well, I didn't understand what's going on. And also, a lot of you guys have been asking me, oh my gosh, did you cry? And yes, you can see in the video, like, I put my hands down for like a few seconds and then I was like, oh shoot, like, I'm on stage, I gotta give them an answer, I can't just sit here and cry. And then I got up and then I said yes, I hugged them and then we kissed and then all this other cute stuff. It went perfectly the way I wanted it. It did. Yeah. I, it went exactly how I wanted it to go. It, it was perfect and I, Jason Derulo was amazing for doing that. Um, and I think he beat Tom Brady. I think he did. Ooh. I think he beat Tom Brady on the coolest things I've ever done in my life. See, there was playing football with Tom Brady, and there was proposing with Jason Rillo. And Jason Rillo cared this much. <laughs> and, just, and Tom Brady cared this much. <laughs> oh, wow. That's a big difference. Uh, no, the Jason Rillo thing was the coolest thing I've ever done. I love it. That, yeah. And he will now forever be my favorite. He's always been my favorite singer. But now, he'll never... He could literally show up to my house right now and punch me in the face and say, you're a loser. And I'd say, he's fucking amazing. Wow. Like, <laughs> Alright, guys. So, this is probably going to be, like, my favorite video on the channel ever. So, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Anyways, I guess like back to regular home vlogs for the next couple days. We are going to New Jersey. I, I don't know about that. We're supposed to go to New Jersey on Thursday, so we're gonna be out of town again. Sorry if anyone's trying to visit us. Like I feel like we're gone. Oh yeah. Also yeah. I'm gonna apologize. I, I you know for a fact we were gone for like 15 days. So oh yeah. For all the fans that visited during those 15 days, I'm so sorry. I, I we were not supposed to be gone that long. I'm afraid of flying, so. This literally could have been a three-day trip, but since we drove, it took 15 days. Not to drive, but to, you know, you just don't want to go home. Yeah. But I did film while I was in California. I filmed at the Grand Canyon. I filmed at Disneyland. So That's yeah, true. I got yeah. a lot of videos coming. So you want to, we're going to address something real quick. The video that you filmed, like the vlog that you filmed of you leaving, you had shown Precious in the room, then you locked her in the room, and then you had shown the dogs in the office, and then you locked them and you left. And a lot of people think we just left them there, and obviously we, did. we didn't. Well, we, did. we left them there for like 30 minutes or an hour, and then somebody no, we came left in. Them there for 15 days. I, I gave for 15 days. I gave Precious 20 bowls of food and 20 and bowls of water. And then let me tell you, the dogs they pooped everywhere, all over the office. Yep, yeah. we left them there for 15 we locked days. Them in the house. Yeah, no, you, no one came to watch them. No. Well, I, I, well, technically, if I bought Precious 20 litter boxes, 20 bowls of food, and 20 bowls of water, I'd be set. They could not complain. Tec but not the dogs, though. Yeah, well, and the a, turtle, with that, yeah. Shelby. So. Well, I, all the, the cat's my problem. <laughs> all right, we love you guys. Um, home vlog for a few days, and then I'm gonna drag him to New Jersey because it's a special surprise. Should we tell him we're gonna meet Adam Sandler? All right, that's it. That's all you guys get. <laughs> I told you all of it. All right, we love you guys, and we will see you, Chili Peppers, tomorrow. Bye.